In this tutorial, we're going to use Nutriment to analyse a food diary. So we'll go back to the food diary that we had before for Kate Smith. So from the home page then, uh, into My Diaries, and then we find Kate Smith, and then the Edit Diary icon. So now we're in the diary mode for Kate Smith. And we can see all the foods that we entered before in the first tutorial then about food diaries. If we click in the Analysis tab, so we're in the diary mode for Kate Smith and we're on the analysis screen and you can see at a glance how all the things that Kate consumed compare to the relevant dietary reference values for her age and gender. So this bar chart then shows how her intake for different nutrients compares to the 100% recommendation. So you can see that she comfortably has enough energy, lots of protein, enough NSP, plenty of calcium. If we scroll down we'll see there's a problem with selenium. Like many of the people in the UK, Kate doesn't have enough selenium, looking at about 63%. So each of these nutrients is shown visually as the bar that passes the 100% line. But also we've got the numbers, we've got the DRV itself from the Sasson 2013 guidelines. We've got the mean intake for the day with the units and then the intake as a percentage of the dietary reference value. And this screen can be easily downloaded. If you press the download data button, then it opens up uh, in an Excel file or SPSS file. And you, from that, you can incorporate the data into your own reports. You can download the graph as an image to incorporate into Word or your other report. So let's look at her energy intake. You can see at a glance that Kate is consuming too much energy, 150% of the EAR. So what we want to know is where is the energy coming from? Which foods and which drinks are contributing that energy? So we can click on contributing foods, select the nutrient that we're interested in, in this case energy, and again visually we can see where the energy is coming from. We've got a list of the main sources of energy in descending order. So the biggest source of energy is that lasagna, followed by the lemon cake, then coleslaw, then garlic bread, then cheese. Uh, and you can see as you hover your mouse over the pie chart that the corresponding section is highlighted in grey. So that for lasagna, that's contributing 24% of the energy for that day. For lemon cake, 10.7%. Coleslaw, 7%. And it becomes therefore quite straightforward to work out how we could change Kate's diet or the dietary changes we could suggest that would help her to have to meet the RNI for energy. Things like... Uh, thinking about that garlic bread instead of having three slices going down to two or things like the red wine there were two glasses of red wine and cutting that down to one would reduce this down into the data tab you can see all the foods and drinks that were entered for kate smith each with their accounts code the description and the portion size it's like a chronological receipt you'll see the cup of tea that she had for breakfast here and the one mid-morning here Click on Summary. The same foods are listed, um, but they're totals. So rather than tea being listed twice, we've got tea listed once with a total amount. Lastly, nutrients. In nutrients, we've got a numerical summary of all the nutritional composition in Kate's diet, starting with energy and the macronutrients, and then rolling down then to minerals and the vitamins listed in alphabetical order. Data on all these analysis screens then can all be downloaded through the Download Data tab. Download into Excel or SPSS so you can incorporate into your own reports. Have a look at the other Nutriment tutorials to find out what else Nutriment can do.